Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim and welcome back to Court Farms Country Park and this is episode 5 of the Let's Play series. So I hope you're all okay, I hope you're all doing alright. Um, we've got a busy day ahead of us today, pretty much as every day. We have some ploughing to do, the, the two grass fields need ploughing under so that the precision farming menu uh, can recognise them because they haven't actually been created as an, as an official field yet. I've just... Uh, created a custom field as you know with course plate but the uh, the ground isn't recognized by the field scanners or anything so i can't get any information about the ground so yeah these are going to get plowed under we've had two cuts of grass out of them since we started um and the yield was uh, the yield was going down and down so we're going to uh, we're going to get them plowed under i'm going to the plan is anyway i'm going to put some linseed in this field um and we're going to keep the big one there next to the grain mill as grass as that's going to be the essentially the food supply for for the cows so that's uh, that's some of the work we have to do today um what else have we got to do uh i need some money uh that's what i need um if i bring up the hood um you'll see there i now only have three thousand two hundred and three pounds as i have repaired the fent uh as some of you may know if you've watched the previous episode i spent a bit of money and repaired the massey uh, and i repaired the ford um, but this one needed about 2,800 quid thrown at it to repair it, take it from about 50, 50 odd percent damage back to zero. So that's now uh, fully fixed, as it were, and ready to rock and roll. Um, I've done a bit more cleaning. I've given the weeder, uh, the the weeder and the uh, field roller got a clean. I still haven't done the slurry tanker, uh, but I did give the uh, the Richard Weston trailer a bit of a clean. Um, it's a shame I wasn't uh, painting it, but yeah, it, uh, it definitely needs a coat of paint, doesn't it? But we'll do that at some point when we have the spare money. Um, right, but yes, and also the cows have had, I think I did three, uh, three feed mixes of food for them. So we've started to make a dent in our silage bales here. Um, and the, the ones that we loaded up in the last episode are 25% through. So they're on their way. Um, the cows are doing well their health is at 100 percent their sexual maturity at 72 percent they have 43 just under 43 and a half thousand liters of food uh, they're producing milk a bit more now 559 liters uh, they're still fine for straw and they're producing slurry there 1212 liters so that's all good um now i need uh, as you can see there i have uh, on the top of the screen the, the the contract hood i've taken on another three uh, silage grass silage contracts um because i really need to get some money into the account what i plan on doing i need to get myself a some form of manure spreader um to deal with the manure that the cows are producing um as i think i've established there isn't actually a manure pit it's this the whole thing is a manure pit so there is, there is a there is a trigger in here um sits about here so i'm hoping that i can reverse a when it, when i do get hold of one uh, a manure spreader reverse it into here and i might be able to auto fill it but if i can't i'll need to get myself a manure fork as well um so i'm going to need uh, i'm going to need some money to get a manure trailer spreader uh, and potentially a manure fork if i can't do it by uh, automatically with the trailer in there with the trigger um and i need what i also want to do uh, as i mentioned in episode one and i've not really done a great deal about it yet either is some sheep i want some sheep to start producing wool um so i need some money to get hold of a, a few of those as well uh i'm not sure how many yet we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and we'll, we'll base that on how much money we earn from these three contracts um if i bring up the menu here let's just pop to the map um i have got a contract where we are where are we Field 32 here, and field 67 here, and field 130 here. They are all the same silage bale contracts, and they are all going to the same sell point, which is over here, uh, tall trees bales. So, uh, but what I plan on doing, I'm going to, because you've also, you've seen me do a few uh, silage bale contracts already uh, so far in the series so I plan on getting them done off camera as it were I'm going to get all three done I'm going to do it like I did uh, previously when I took the I took three on in one of the last episodes I'm going to send the mower on the fent round to each field to get them all mowed then I'm going to follow up with the Ford and the windrower get them all done in one go uh, one after the other sorry and then the fence will go back and visit the fields with the baler and then the then possibly the Massey actually just for a bit of a change because now I know that the Massey can cope with a full bale trailer of bales um, I'll send the Massey round with the bale trailer and pick up all the bales and send them all to tall trees 
and then when we're finished um we will have no doubt earned a good chunk from the residual bales and i'll keep a i'll keep a note of how many bales or how much money i get from each individual contract um and then we will turn in all three contracts on, on in one go when i've uh, turned the camera back on when all three are done um so i think that's where we're up to now um, I'm going to crack on with the uh, crack on with these three contracts, and I shall pick the camera back up in a couple of hours when all three are done. Right, well, there we are. That wasn't bad for, what, two and a half, three hours work? It's more than more like two and a half, I think. But yeah, we have done pretty well out of that. Let's just turn that off. Oh, bit of peace and quiet again. Right, well, we have made a staggering amount of money from those three contracts. Uh, just from the residual bales alone, we have made £28,780, which is absolutely incredible. Um, so now I am going to jump into the contract uh, menu itself, and we're going to collect, collect, collect. Boom. £58,065. That is the most money I've ever had on this series so far, so that's wonderful. Let's, in fact, let's just jump in here and pop the bale trailer back where it belongs for now. Which is just in there. But yeah, I've, uh, I feel like I've got this um, multiple silage bale contract thing down to a bit of a quite a smooth operation. It's um, getting the mowing done first with the same tractor, uh, with the fent, and then following with the windrower and, as I say, with the, the baler and the bale trailer afterwards. Uh, it seems to go quite efficiently. Two and a half hours for three, uh, three fields worth. There we go. So... We're in the money, kind of, 58 grand, just just shy of 60 grand, so, essentially. That's awesome. So what that does mean is that I can now afford to buy myself the uh, manure spreader trailer that I've got my eye on. Um, I'm also going to pick up a manure fork for the front loader for the Ford. Um, and we're going to buy some sheep. Now, I don't think I've got... a I don't think I've got anything I can feed the sheep just yet. Can they take hay? I'm, I'll have to. Stop. I'm pretty sure you just feed them grass, don't you? But uh, either way, while I've got the money, I'm going to get them. Um, so I'm going to jump into the. Let's go to the shop first. I have looked in the sale shop. The the particular one that I'm looking for is not there. So um, manure spreaders. It's this beautiful uh, Abbey 2550 by 4D modding. That's the one we want. It's the one I want anyway. Uh, let's give it some chunky tyres. Uh, and we shall give it... In fact, we'll just, we'll, we won't just we will have a number plate on this one. There we go. Keep it the same colour. Yeah. Lovely. And it's a side spreader, is it? It's one that spits it out the side, so that's quite interesting. I don't think I've used one of these ones before. So that'll be a new experience for me. So we've got that. Uh, and I need a... Manure fork. So front loader tools, manure fork. Let's see what I'm, I'm sure I've got something else. Potentially. 
uh, must have something in here that's a manure fork. Manure fork of forged teeth. Yeah, let's have that one. For a front loader. There we go. Excellent. Right, so we'll go and pick those up in a minute. So that's just, we just spent just over 15,000 on them. So let's go see what we can afford sheep wise. So here we are. Land race of Bentheim, Steinschaff, or Swiss Black Brown Mountain, or Black Welsh Mountain. I think I'm going to go for some Steinschaffs, actually. Um, so I think we shall have. What this this will take two hundred sheep. I'm not going to fill it up. Obviously, I'm going to. I'm, let's have a look. What's sixty? Sixty is thirteen thousand eight hundred. I reckon we'll buy. Let's go down to. We'll buy twenty of each for now. Da, 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 da. Twenty of those for four thousand six hundred. Yep. And twenty of those for ten thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven. Let's go say hello to our sheep, shall we? Ooh. Outward opening gate, okay. Oh, and that's also what I need. I need a water trailer. I need a trailer that'll do milk and water, actually. There we are. <laughs> now we have sheep, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent. Right. Yes, I need a uh, I need a water a, a trailer that'll do milk and water, don't I? So um, let's. I think I know which one I'm going to get anyway. I've, I always use this one. It is in the LSFM Universal Tank Pack, and we're going to go for this one, the the smaller one of the two, seven thousand five hundred liters. Uh, configuration Universal, slowish sprayer Universal. Yeah, we'll stick with Universal. Is there any need in changing the tyres? I don't think there is, as if I come back out and go back in. Yeah, we'll just keep that up as it is. Uh, I'll keep it with the black. And again, we'll remove the number plate from this one for now. 7,600 pounds. So even after spending a chunk of money on some new machinery, some new trailers, a load of sheep, I'm still left with £20,000. So that's absolutely brilliant. So we'll go and pick all those bits and bobs up shortly, but I want to initially get down to a bit of ploughing. We've still got a lot of work to crack, to crack on with today on the farm. So we're going to jump in the fence. We're going to get these, uh, these two grass fields ploughed under. So, let's slow down there a minute, see what I'm doing. That should be about right, I think. There we go. Lift up. Let's get rid of that course play menu, because that's the cause of those weird red lines that you saw. Excellent. Right, okay. And in fact, what I think I'll do, uh, I shall get the this plough here set up on a course play, and then when that's up and running, we will go and pick up our new machinery. So, first things first, I need to make sure that I have allow create fields on, because this still technically isn't a field. So, uh, and then let's... Uh, Jump into the course play menu. Check that there isn't a course loaded there. There we go. Yep. Open the course generator. I think we're going to go for four headlands. And I need to put this down to three meters. That was a mistake I learnt last time. So four headlands. In fact, no, we'll give it five just to be safe. Da, 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 da. Sounds about right. Generate course. Yep, that'll do. Okay. So, let's bring course play back up. First waypoint, where are you? There you are. Right. Let's set him on his way. There we go.
great stuff. This will actually become registered with precision farming as well now, so once this is done, we will be able to... Oh, don't go too close to that. <laughs> yeah, we will be able to uh, scan it with the field scanner and get a bit more soil information from that. So while that is doing that, we shall jump over here into the Ford. We'll pull this out and we shall make our way down to the shop. But first I need to load up the front loader and remove the bale spike so that I can pick up the manure fork. There we are. There's that. Now I think... There we go, that's right. So let's lift that up and over out of the way. Right, so I'm going to send this one down to the shop. There we go. RBM Agricultural. Off you go. Get rid of that. And I shall pick you all up in a few minutes when we're there. And here we are down at the shop. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the manure spreader there for now because that's quite a big thing. Um, I'm going to use this ford here to pick up the manure fork and the water stroke milk trailer. So get this attached to the front. There we go. Right, excellent. Let's get that lifted up and out of the way. Safety first and all that. <laughs> and we shall head ourselves back to the farm and I will pick you up when the bent has finished the ploughing in that field and we'll be making our way over to the next field to do the same. job done not a bad job either I don't wouldn't say so myself um, I do like this much more kind of I suppose I'd describe it as fluffier looking plowing texture that this map's got on it it's really quite cool um, but I have also realized that I'm now encountering field stones uh, this pretty much has small to medium sized stones in it uh, so I need to get myself some form of stone picker um, I do have something in mind I've got one of these uh, downloaded the mod but I've not actually put it onto the game yet but it's one of these ones that you mount onto the front of your tractor I'm not too keen on the the, the, the base game yellow things the the offset ones that you drag along behind you um, so I'm going to get one of those installed ASAP uh, but it's one that you essentially mount to the front of uh, front of your machine uh, and it just picks them up like a shovel uh, essentially so right anyway um, that's that one done. Uh, we're going to send it over to the other grass field as well um, to get that one done. Um, and while that was busy, I, I did actually send the Ford over to the back to the shop, uh, and we've picked up the manure spreader there. As you can see, I've got it parked neatly away, and I have also given the uh, slurry tank a clean as well. So, and I have also established that this, whether it's particular to this uh, manure spreader or not, but it doesn't load itself from the the trigger point that's here so i am going to have to do that manually uh with the um, with the new manure fork that we bought but uh what i was also thinking of doing in fact um was when i do get a build up of manure in here i'm going to pick it up and i'm going to kind of pop it in here and let just let a, let a big pile build up in here and then uh, and then load up the manure spreader as and when i need it um, I think that might be the, a reasonable approach for now anyway. 
so, oh, and the other thing I forgot to uh, mention before, and one of the other reasons why I wanted to earn the money from the especially from the contracts that we've just done, is I need to repair my harvester and header. That was one of the big bills I knew had to be accounted for, uh, and that's pretty much uh, give or take. It's ten thousand pounds. So we're going to take the toolbox over to the other shed where the harvester is. Goodness me, stuck on all sorts of walls here. So we will get this repaired so then we can start using it essentially i should catch them both if i pop that there there we go right okay so repair seven thousand five hundred and seventy three pounds there we go and two thousand two hundred and fifty okay well that was a, a vital necessity we needed to get that done um now it means we can we can use it we can move it we can get it cleaned now that we can move it um and we can start earning from it so as soon as some harvesting contracts appear, we can get them done. Um, and we're ready for our harvest when that happens in a few months' time. Which is all good. So, let's... Get through this door. Goodness me. What's stopping me from getting through that door? There we go. Pop the toolbox down. Right. Excellent. So, we're going to get the fence back into the other grass field. And get that ploughed under. And then for that, I think I might very quickly jump in and out of the game. I'm going to get the uh, this particular stone picker loaded up so I can get that purchase. It's, it's not an expensive thing. I think they're only a thousand pounds, maybe, give or take a bit. Um, oops. But uh, yeah, we'll get that sorted. And then we've got the equipment we need to get the stones picked up. Um, we'll go from there. So. Let's get this unfolded again. There we go. We shall... I think this has still got the previous course loaded in. So let's... Where are we? Create job. There we go. Course generator. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Excellent. Generate field course. Now oh, this one's going to take a while, isn't it? Because it's quite a biggie. So, we shall bring up that. There we go. First waypoint. Just check we're right. Yep, yeah, there we go. And off you go. Again. Lucky endings were not some 
Well, that was awesome. A couple of hours work, all done. So now we've got two freshly ploughed fields that are ready for drilling, and both can be drilled within this month and next month if need be, but I'd very much like to get them done this month. Uh, this field is going to be grass again, but it's going to get a good coat of lime, a good cultivation, and a good re-drilling with grass, and the smaller of the two, what was the grass field, will now become... Uh, linseed i'm gonna get some linseed in there so we've got a bit of work to do but we also have a ton of stones to pick up so i need to grab myself a stone picker um but we've got a lot of work to do uh yet still today um we've still got obviously the rest of these this field work to do liming cultivating stone picking drilling uh and there's too much to to crack on with to, to keep into this episode so um i'm going to call it here for this episode um and we're gonna pretty much in the next episode we will Pretty much just pick up exactly where we've left off here um it's only, it's only mid afternoon so we've still got a good few hours left of today to get some work done uh, and then it'll obviously it will spill into uh, tomorrow as well which if need be which is absolutely fine um so yes i'm going to call it there for today uh so thank you all for watching the video i really hope you've enjoyed it i really hope you've uh, found it interesting um and a bit of fun uh, and as always, if you can, hit the like button, leave me a comment if you've got any ideas for me, any any uh, any suggestions. Um, and if you haven't already, if you like my content and you like the way I do things, hit the subscribe button. Because all the things I've just mentioned there go a huge way to helping my channel grow. Um, so thank you to everyone, and I shall see you in the next episode.